I'm Imogen from Waffle TV, and I'm joined here by Rick Shapiro, who is um, a stand-up comedian. Hi, I'm a Republican. No, I'm not. Don't call me that. Take it back. Take it back. Take. I don't. I'm done here. So, what's your show going to be about this year? Uh, I usually know about halfway through while I'm on stage, but. Uh, it was really about, it wasn't about anything except breaking through the pale walls that have gone up, like what offends pe 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 people isn't really, they're not really offended, you know, like they're doing it at home or people assume they're f f f offended, like the box office, some older interviewers I'm stuttering did my father just walk in with a shovel it's like, like older interviewers would be like would you find it confrontational when you talk about sex to confront sex in a confrontational way is it confrontational and it's like no people have sex where is the confrontation like show me where I, wouldn't that be great if they could bring it up and be like here it is but they, they can't. Yeah, exactly. So, but I did have a serious car accident that stopped my momentum a few years ago. I got four or five star reviews. And, and, uh, and then I got in, in a cab and I got hit by another cab and had amnesia for a couple of years, came out here with amnesia. And against the advice of everybody, I kind of snuck out, and then um, now I, I had a, some heart thing happen because they gave me a medication that clashed with all the sensitivity and beauty in my heart. So, so, so now I'm just. They thought my show would be about that when I came out, and I just wanted to have fun and inform a bit, you know, like play with sociological bullshit. But now, tonight, now I'm adding the stuff, the, the story. Why my manager said, let's call it rebirth, man. Because you know why? Can you feel the rising? I said, that's her gold nail polish, man, causing the rising, the great rising. Torn asunder by the gold nail polish. Uh, what does torn asunder mean? It's important. So the show is going to be partly about being stuck in a goddamn wheelchair for 75 days, being dehumanized in a funny way, walking like a dehydrated duck when I'm trying to keep my energy up during the show, and and my mind-body connection is a little s s slower, so people get a chance to heckle. Y usually, I slam them. By the, now it takes three punches. But you've uh, managed to bounce back because you've also been in a new film called Project X, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. The the acting is starting to come in. The acting. Mm -hmm. My wife plays Superman and I play an extra. Uh, I'd rather look at you. I just realized I'm going to wake up slow. Uh, yeah, I'm pro Project X, which is a big hit in the States because it's all about teenagers destroying themselves and the neighborhood with them, taking down parents. There's a big scene, I play the pothead ar arsonist where the whole neighborhood's on fire, the whole neighborhood. And it's a big money film, so it looks like the whole neighborhood's on fire. Conflagration. And uh, then I did a bunch of TV shows that were actually kind of smart by accident. I didn't realize they'd be smart. Like Two Broke Girls and The, the League, which was improv. And uh, so that's happening there. I don't know what's happening here. No, I have no idea. No one will t t t tell me because of my slower movement on stage, doing the hospital shuffle. There's no other way to walk. There's no other way to walk. If you've been in the hospital for 75 days, the only way to walk is ch -ch 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 and reaching out for applesauce the whole time. 
you, you know, it's maddening because I'm fast and now I gotta be like, you're not gonna, you're gonna hear me go from one place to the next. Like, let, let me look at the book. I'm re I read from a book I wrote called Unfiltered. You can get it on Kindle. Kindle, doesn't that sound gross? Kindle, like, I, I buy all my books on Kindle now. I buy everything on Kindle now. Did you know you can buy everything on Kindle now? You can buy nothing on Kindle and pay top dollar. It's really quite a deal. Is your coffee in here? Am I drinking out of the right cup? This isn't your cup, is it? No, yeah, it's not my cup, it's yours. <laughs> Look how beautiful Imogene is. And I don't mean beauty in that superficial comedic has to bring it up kind of a way. Like, you're hot. She has that, that's a given. But she's intelligent, sensitive, and a bit of a loner. If she could be, but people won't leave her alone, am I right? Yeah, totally. Um, how do you think people react to jokes, like here in Edinburgh, compared to the US? Well, I don't know. I, the, the best answer I can give that is, I, I don't know. Because I was killing a... They can take more here, but then all of a sudden they can't. There's always the big fat old little lady. I don't mean the good kind of fat, like fighter fat, trucker fat, fat fat. I mean just someone who swallowed the rules and gained weight fat. Uh, always you know, like scuffling out of the show, you, you know? Going down the long steps because she, she doesn't know three types of people do need to be fist fucked. Uh, those who do want to be, those who don't want to be, and everybody else who never walks out of my show, and those who eat scones and edamame. You got it, and there's an, you, it's exploring with the hand, it's erotic beauty. But they got to hear it as something horrible, like I'm bringing a bowling ball up there or wearing heavy metal rings. They have to hear what I'm not saying. It's imperative that people hear what you're not saying and add that and mix it up and ruin it. I'm angry at that. Go fold a sweater. Get out of my life. Yeah, then come watch your show, right? Where you guys been? You're all young and cool. You all get, 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 get this instead of guys who are like, I don't know if I should rightly listen to this. And I beat up three guys last night in a drunken spute spell. I'm, I'm doing a bad mind. imitation of Connecticut. That's how people from Connecticut sound. Yeah, um, thank you very much. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> You're young. You have a responsibility to bring your fire. Like, all, all your little impulses that are flying right now are huge. And otherwise, a woman who walks down the long flight of steps of ended is going to tell you what the rules are. And slowly but surely, you're going to bend over and go, well, you know, you can't argue. Oh, it's always been like that. Oh, it's always been like you'll become one of those, those guys who drink like a strong guy like him. If you if you don't argue back with people, you're going to be be holding a mojito, going, oh, it's always been like that. But it's been like that for centuries. It was like that during the Cuban Reagan economic economic era of the economic war era. It's it started with the money era, and then you sit with guys like 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 that. So. My heart, go, my heart goes out to you. That's my Jewish right. accent. <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, thank you very much. Was I supposed to look in the camera? Or? Oh, right, you want the camera, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, so your show is going to be on at the Assembly George Square every night except the 13th um, at 10 past 6 at night. Yes. So, yeah. Please come. Keep yeah. watching Waffle TV. Yeah, Waffle TV, man. There's no old lady in a gold sweater with a left tit hanging out. <laughs> We're trying to stay in because her husband will, will be abusive. There's no husband abuse on Waffle TV.